So welcome to another SUP Border video. In this video, we're gonna be looking at a pump, but not any normal pump. This is probably one of the biggest, fastest pumps on the market. This is the new pump from Scoprica. This is the GE 25 AC, which is a mains powered pump. Now this is a beast of a pump, and it's quite a lot bigger than its smaller brother, the GE 20. So there's no doubt this pump isn't gonna be for everybody. It's a big pump, it weighs six kilograms, and it has a retail price of 549 pounds, or 569 euros. It really is aiming at more of the professionals in the sup market, the sup schools, the sup clubs, the shop owners. Maybe you haven't got an air compressor and you wanna go down the electric pump route. It is way, way faster than the other pumps we've tested in the past. So before we go into how quick this pump is, let's have a look at some of the features that comes as standard on the GE20 AC. It is an inflation pump and a deflation pump, which is really handy. It has a maximum PSI pressure that it can go up to of 22 PSI, and it's got an automatic switch, so you can cut off at any pressure that you set it to. It's got a built-in fuge for protection. It's got a really funky main on-off switch, which looks like it should be part of a space station, and it's also got its general on and off switch to actually start the pump inflating. It comes as standard with a heavy-duty flexi hose, the same hose that you see on the other GE pumps, the electric and battery-powered pumps. Really nice double washers on the input there that you plug into the main pump and it's supplied with multiple attachments and of course it comes as standard with your ISAP attachment and multiple shims or washers that you can change the thickness of your ISAP attachment. So as we said, we're testing the AC version, which is the mains power version. It's 230 volts, so it's a European or a UK plug. It comes as standard as a European plug, but we've just connected a UK plug on this one. But if you don't want to change the plug, you can always just use a standard adapter. And the amount of air that this pump can push out is a lot. So just up to 1.15 PSI, so just over 1 PSI, it can do 450 litres a minute, which is a lot of air. So you're getting a lot of air in your board until you get to that 1.15 PSI. Then on from that up to 22 PSI, which is a maximum pressure, it's going to be pushing at 250 litres per minute. So when we were doing these tests, we had this board from Sharks Up. It's a 10 foot by 34 by six inches thick, and it's 330 liters, sort of fitness yoga boards. It's got a large amount of volume. So we were pumping this board up and we were seeing how fast it got to the 15 PSI, 20 PSI, and the maximum for the pump, 22 PSI. So when the pump starts, it's got sort of two stages. It starts at its full maximum, 450 liters a minute, sort of turbocharged pump, let's say, and then it drops to the lower, harder, higher pressure pump. It kicks in, and it kicks in after one minute and 34 seconds. So for the first one minute and 34 seconds, you've got a lot of air in that board really quickly. It got to 15 PSI in five minutes and 12 seconds, which for a big volume board is pretty quick. Then on to 20 PSI, seven minutes and seven seconds, and onto the full 22 PSI, in seven minutes and 40 seconds. So it didn't take much longer after that. We did this test three times and we used the deflate mode on here in between the times to make sure we get all the air out of the board. And to compare to the battery powered GE20-2, that took 13 minutes and 48 to get to the 22 PSI. So the GE25 AC is the faster pump than its smaller brothers, but it really should be because it is, you know, quite a bit more money. It is a bigger pump. It's way more engineered to push a lot of air in and to work a lot harder. Definitely if you're a sub school or club, having a pump like this is going to really help you inflate a lot of boards quickly and just keep the pump running back to back. There is no battery option on this one. They do make other ones with batteries, but if you really want a pump just to work hard, definitely having a mains plug on the end is the way forward obviously there's those are drawbacks to that if you are remotely at a lake and you haven't got any mains power then this pump is not really for you a few pros and cons to this pump definitely the speed it's quite quiet and it's very very easy to use with the pros it also comes with a nice carry bag to keep it safe and well protected over that long wind period if you're not going to be using it a con a longer lead may be handy just so if you've got a bit more flexibility to move around boards because obviously it is plugged into the mains so definitely the Scoprica GE25 AC is going to be a specialist pump and you are going to be really committed 
on your paddle boarding or just got loads of boards in the garage just like we do it's going to be really well used for us we're going to be using it a lot we do a lot of ice up testing as you know this pump plugged into the mains is just going to be able to pump a lot of boards up really quickly it's definitely more of a specialist pump than a mass market pump but it is going to get a lot of sub schools and clubs inflating a lot of boards in 2020. So I hope you found that video interesting. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out SUP Border Mag. And of course, remember, if you're mad keen on SUP, check out SUP Border Pro. We'll see you next time with another video.